All right, so what I'd like you to do is get into a comfortable position, sitting in your chair, sitting in your cushion, getting as comfortable as you can, and either closing your eyes, lowering your gaze, or not. It's totally up to you how you would like to be in this. And as you're breathing, and breathing will be obviously a major, you know, orientation here because our breath is our spirit, is how our spirit moves through us. And so to be breathing really consistently is, a, is really a way of opening. And here we are talking about opening and defending. Defending is like tightening, not breathing. Breathing is opening, right? And so to really allow yourself gently to breathe long, full, deep breaths and really welcoming yourself onto your pillow or cushion. And really trusting your breath. It is your lifeline. Without it, you're not here. None of us are here. It is the river that runs through us. And with each breath, really allow yourself to open to your current experience right now, what you're experiencing in this moment, knowing there's no right way to be feeling. Whatever you're feeling is perfectly fine. And letting your breath really be a guide into your opening. Welcoming every sensation whether pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. Even if there are uncomfortable sensations, disturbing thoughts, or painful feelings, just keep allowing yourself to open, even if only a bit. And with each exhale, just allow your body to really let go, to really let go, to surrender into your chair or cushion. It will hold you. Welcoming all aspects of yourself. Knowing that you're big enough to include every part of yourself. Even the parts that you kind of wish weren't there, but to be friendly toward them. This true openness is really accepting whatever you're experiencing without trying to change anything. And paradoxically, often it does change that.
Really focusing on being present, present with your breath. Thoughts indeed may emerge, just allowing them to pass through and keep coming back to your breath and really being present in your body, in yourself, in your being. With each breath, really open to feeling more and more present with yourself, knowing that presence is to some degree a choice. It's a focus, it's an intention. And now take a moment, if you will, to appreciate your body. Your body's been with you. Your whole life has changed, obviously. And many of us judge our bodies in all kinds of different ways. But to, in this moment, to go, you know, thank you. I appreciate that you've been with me and you've been my house. I value you. I care about you. really inhaling a sense of really appreciating yourself, despite whatever challenges you've had over your life and still do. In this moment, to really appreciate yourself. perhaps extending your circle of appreciation to some other people in your life, even further out people that you don't know. The power of appreciating others is limitless. Staying in touch with your breath. And shifting from appreciation to compassion, in this case, compassion towards yourself, you know, for the ways that you experience pain and indeed suffer, and really bring kindness to yourself. You deserve kindness towards yourself and from yourself. You really do, you really do.
And you may even breathe in some compassion for the many ways that you have suffered. You're human. Suffering is a part of life. Indeed, if there are parts of your body or your being that feel anxious or depressed, that's part of the human condition. Anything less than pleasant, please send extra care and kindness to those part or parts. Staying in touch with your breath. Perhaps even placing a hand on a part that feels quite vulnerable. Oftentimes it's one's heart or any other place. And begin to extend that compassion toward others because all around you, there are people who have challenges, people who could benefit from your compassion. And taking a moment to send them or even the larger, larger parts of the world, sending your compassion into the world. And so for these next 15 minutes, I'm going to you know, be in silence and I invite you to be in your silence. And you may wanna reflect on how can you, you know, being present with yourself or present with others, you know, being appreciative of yourself, appreciative of others and or compassionate towards yourself as well as compassionate toward others.
That's right. Staying in touch with your breath. Feeling present in your own body, really being aware of yourself. Welcoming yourself is really that kindness, that self-kindness is so critical and often so missing. May I be present with myself and others. May I appreciate myself and others. May I be compassionate towards myself and others. If you choose, you may inhale being present for and in yourself and exhale being present for another or others. Inhaling, being really present for yourself and exhaling, being really present for others. Inhaling appreciation for yourself, exhaling appreciation for others. Inhaling appreciation for yourself, exhaling appreciation for others. Inhaling compassion for yourself, exhaling 
compassion for others, inhaling compassion for yourself, exhaling compassion for others.